Hey Libra. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I'm going to be doing your money, wealth, uh, prosperity, finance, abundance reading for the month of December 2019. If this is your first time catching one of my videos, I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. Uh... Let's see. I'm feeling a little out of breath, <laughs> Libra. Um, I'm working with a brand new deck. This is my holographic tarot. And as you saw, uh, the shuffle was a little a little choppy. So I'm, I'm feeling like maybe your energy, Libra, is a little bit choppy as well. You know, and as we move into uh, December... This is kind of a stressful time for a lot of people. It's a very busy time. It's a very emotional time. Um, I know we just uh, are moving or moved out of Mercury retrograde, depending on when you see this. So um, I just want to say that Libra, I, I can relate and I can feel... I can feel that um, kind of disconnected energy, I guess, would be the best way to put it. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, like I said, I am using a new deck this month. This is called the Holographic Tarot. I will be clarifying with my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck, as I always do. And then I will, I will end your reading with a Crystal Oracle card. Now, as you can see, um, as... I was doing the intro, <laughs> cards started uh, flipping over, jumping out, and I do read jumper cards if, uh, if, if you didn't know, um, because I believe those are the cards that uh, specifically want to communicate a message, and so I do acknowledge jumper cards and cards that flip over during the reading. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with you in December. Yes. Now this is interesting, Libra. It's like circumstantially, if that's a word, uh, things are really good for you. But you're the one that's feeling like things are all messed up. But that's not how it is. But your perception is, is making you feel that way. So let me go ahead and make sure none of... The cards are cut off here. Okay. All right, Libra. So we have the Queen of Wands. This is a very grounded, stable energy. Um, this is also someone who really looks at the big picture, right? This is um, an energy of someone who takes it all in and doesn't necessarily make a rash decision. However, sometimes she could be a little bit uh, narrow focused. And I'm feeling like that's what's going on with you, Libra. We have the Nine of Cups. This is the Wish card, one of the most positive cards in the deck. Whew. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Eight of Swords upright, Nine of Swords upright, Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles both in reverse. So... Like I said, these are very, very good cards. And that's how you're going to start off the month of December. It's like things are actually really, really good for you, Libra. But your perception of, of the situation, uh, the circumstance, uh, your money is making you think that things are not as good as they actually are. Now, I do see this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. That tells me that there was a project or some type of a group uh, thing that just didn't happen or maybe it just wasn't feeling right for you and so you decided to kind of back away the eight of swords sometimes this is about self-imposed limitations and I'm really feeling like Libra that's kind of what you're going through in that first week of December it's like it's keeping you a little uh, stressed distracted 
um, unable to focus, but you really have to examine the situation for what it is. Because you may not be as limited as you think. You may not be restricted in the way that you think you are, okay? So really take your time to kind of go inward and really dig deep and see if what you're feeling and how you're perceiving things is justified. Now we have the two of wands here. This tells me that um, you're not ready to kind of look ahead. You're not ready to make decisions for the future. You're just not ready. Now, it's not because of anything that any, anyone said or did. It's just that's where you are right now. You don't want to think about long-term decisions. You don't want to think about um, making a decision now that could affect you in the future. You're just not ready, and that's okay. Take your time. You've got some other things that you're working on that... Um, it's like it's taking your energy in a new direction. We have this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This tells me that um, you're not going to start any new projects right now, especially as it relates to money, work, your business. Nothing new is going to be starting for you right now. Now, it's not because you don't want it to. <coughs> Excuse me. It's more because um, you're just not ready. You're not ready to you're not ready to go big or go home. And that's perfectly fine. You know, so many times in our society, people say that success is is all about the grind, is all about the hustle, it's all about how much you can do and how how big you can do it and uh, you know, how hard you can crush it and how hard, you know, are you willing to outwork the competition? That's not you, Libra. That is not you. Not right now. And that's okay. You know, not everybody has to has to be out there. You know, like Gary V doing all the things all the time. And I'm starting to feel Libra like you're feeling like you have to do that in order to be a success, but the truth is, is that you don't. You can still make money, a lot of money, um, working in a way that doesn't burn you out. I think that's the best way for me to say it. All right, so what else do we need to know for the sign of Libra? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2019. All right, Libra. So things really do slow down for you in the month of December. But this doesn't mean that your money is slowing down. It just means that the activity around you is slowing down. We have the Eight of Wands in, in the reverse position. Now remember, when this card is upright, that's the speed card. That means things are moving quickly. However, when it's in the reverse, that means things are literally slowing down or coming to a standstill. Now sometimes that's actually a good thing. Because you don't ever want to feel rushed when it comes to uh, your business or your abilities or making a decision as far as what you want to do. You want to be able to take your time. Time is a luxury. Uh, we also have the five of wands here. You could be having some um, heated discussions, maybe some uh, back and forth bickering on some level, probably within that second week of December. Um, but it's not anything major. It's just, you know, you have a conversation Maybe somebody says something that rubs you the wrong way. You discuss it and then you move on. Now we have the Hierophant here in the upright. Now this is a card all about authoritative and being in an, in an authoritative position. It could be related to religion, although I'm not feeling that religious energy as I look at this spread. I'm feeling more like this is either you being in the authority, authority, 
authoritative position or you are working with that authoritative energy in order to accomplish something. It could also mean um, that you're kind of re-examining your beliefs. They could be related to religion and spirituality or what I'm feeling more so for you is that uh, you're re-examining your beliefs about money, how to make it, how to keep it, and how to grow it, which is a good thing. You know, this really that really puts you in a different mindset that than you've been in in the past, and that helps your money to grow, and that helps you to make money, you know, in a bigger way that you just hadn't either thought of before or haven't been able to do before. Now we have the world card in the reverse, wheel of fortune in the reverse. These two cards in the reverse tell me that there's going to be a big, a big change in your life. But I'm also feeling like it's almost um, something that you already know has started. It's like the wheel has already started turning. Um, things have already started kind of going in a different direction. And it's not necessarily bad, but it's not something that you would have chosen for yourself. Things are starting to change in your life in a major way. And I'm feeling like this is probably why you have these certain thoughts, these limiting beliefs. And maybe you've been kind of preoccupied with these things because something in your life is changing. And it's not necessarily something you would have chosen or you would have voluntarily agreed to or, you know, have allowed had you had the option. And I'm feeling like this is something related to your lifestyle. Like, uh, you know, maybe a, a, a parent is, um, you know, sick or, or maybe um, you're with a spouse and, and the relationship could be deteriorating in a way that's just not making you happy. Or it could be a business that's just not working out. But something is, has already started to shift. The wheel has already started to turn. And you already feel this, Libra. You already know what this is about. And it's unfortunate because you can't do anything about it, at least not right now. Right now, you, you kind of have to accept the situation for what it is and just work through it as best as you can. Now, the nice thing is that you have the emperor here, which means you are going to have support through this transition. You are going to have someone who reaches out and someone who wants to help you and someone who wants to guide you. You just have to be open and you have to be accepting of that help and, and, and of that support. There is someone who cares about you deeply and someone who is really on your side and wants you to win. But let's go ahead and clarify this some more, Libra. All right, so what do we need to know for the sign of Libra? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of December 2019. Now, Libra, you're going to be feeling this the most, probably in that second week of December, okay? The second week moving into that third week. Wow. Now, you see, these cards are literally flying, <laughs> flying out, uh, ready, ready to communicate, ready to talk. I'd like one more card for Libra, please. As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2019. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. So, things are changing for you, Libra. Like I said, changing in a way that you probably would not have done on your own had you had the option. But it's all good. It's all good. 
we have the Six of Pentacles here in the upright. You're going to be in a position to be very generous, very giving. Um, you're really going to be out there helping others because it's like the focus starts to shift. Well, you're not looking at yourself, but you're looking at how you can serve, how you can help other people because someone is helping you. And so you're feeling motivated to help others. This is going into that third week of December. We also have the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, this tells me again that you're just not making any decisions as it relates to your money right now. You're just kind of letting it ride. You know, you're not taking action. You're not making a decision. You're just going to sit. You're going to sit and wait. There's nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, it might be the best thing for you to do at this time. We also have the Four of Wands here. Now, this is the wedding card, but it's also the card of stability. So because it's in the reverse position, you could be feeling like things are just not as stable as you would like them to be. And that's normal, especially during this time of year, you know, and because this card fell onto that world card, remember, things are starting to turn beyond your control. You already know what's going on. It's not, you know, any big surprise. But, you know, it's kind of making you feel a little unsettled, and that's okay. That's why you're not making decisions. That's why you're letting things just kind of ride out for the time being. Now, we have the Three of Cups here. The Three of Cups in the reverse could be a third-party situation. Now, how that relates to you, only you know, because it could be in a romantic relationship, or it could be in a business relationship. However, because this is in the reverse, this tells me that that situation is over and that a new relationship is on the horizon. Now, I'm feeling this is a romantic relationship, a romantic partnership. It's almost like um, there was more than one person involved, but then for whatever reason, someone makes a decision and they decide that it's you or you decide that it's that person. It's you coming together with somebody in a romantic way in that third week of December. And you guys know I don't do love readings, but sometimes relationships affect our money, right? Because, you know, money is very emotional and sometimes our obligations and our responsibilities to others can also, also affect our money. So, I do see a partnership of some sort coming together in that third week of December, which, I mean, this totally makes sense because that's what, that's what, that's the week of Christmas. You know, usually the holidays or times where people come together, that's usually when feelings and emotions are at their highest because people get very nostalgic. They get very emotional during the holidays. So, um, you know, it's going to be a good thing. This is in the upright position. So that tells me it's going to be a very happy, joyous reunion. All right. What else do we need to know for the sign of Libra as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2019? I want one more card for Libra, please. One more card for Libra. Okay. All right, Libra. So again, we've got that Eight of Wands in reverse. Remember, we saw him up here. Tells me that, again, things are not moving quickly right now. That is totally okay. <laughs> you know, embrace it, accept it, enjoy it. Downtime doesn't mean that, uh, it doesn't mean that things are not working. It's just that things are not moving quickly and that's okay. You know, sometimes it's a really good thing to embrace uh, when things move slowly because it allows us to really recollect our thoughts and to really focus inward and to um, give ourselves, like I said, that luxury of time and enjoying it. 
So things are not going to be moving very quickly for you, Libra. We do have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Three of Wands reverse, Hermit upright. Eight of Pentacles, though, tells me that work is going to be coming in. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to be swamped, but work will be steady. Um, opportunities will flow to you. And there will be um, situations where, uh, you know, work's going to come in. People are going to make offers. People are going to reach out. Okay, so that's a good thing. Now, we have the three of wands in the reverse. And again, this tells me that you're just not ready to start thinking ahead. But you're going to have to, right? Now, you're not ready to make future decisions in the beginning of December. And you're still not ready as December closes out. You're not ready to start thinking ahead that far in advance. But you're getting to the point now where you're going you're gonna to have to be ready. You are going to be called upon to make some decisions and make some plans, especially as it relates to work, business, and your money. Now we have the hermit in the upright position here. This could be Virgo energy, or it could be literally you going into hermit mode, you withdrawing for a little while and going inward and doing some, uh, some of your own uh, spiritual healing. Maybe you go inward and you just kind of hibernate for a while, which I mean, it totally makes sense. We're going into a new year. You just may not be ready to kind of rush into the new year with anything. So you're going to have to decide what that means for you. Are you really going to go into hermit mode and kind of withdraw? Or are you just going to kind of uh, look at this from a spiritual perspective and go inward and try to do some emotional healing and emotional work on yourself so you are prepared for the new year and the new decade? But overall, Libra, you do have a very calm December. I know it may not feel that way right now, but as we move through the month, you start seeing the shifts, you start accepting things as they are, you start dealing with uh, situations as they come, you reconnect with someone. You know, it's, it's just a very calm month. You're not being rushed or pressured into anything. And you really go within to start making um, making things kind of work for yourself. You know, you're not trying to prove anything to anyone. You're, you're, you're going within, doing the inner work, and that's what's going to set you up for success as you move into the new year. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and pull a crystal card as we close out your reading. Oh, interesting. Look at how beautiful. Kunzite. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Kunzite. And this is the card of self-love, exactly what we've been talking about. You doing the inner work, you doing the healing on yourself that needs to be done, and, you know, not rushing through anything, you know, not trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, force yourself to be ready for something when you're not, and that's okay. So I think this is really good for you to keep in mind for the month of December, Libra, self-love. It's going to be a very calming, self-loving month for you. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, feel free to drop those down in the comment section below. Private readings are available if you are interested. I will have that link in the description as well. All right, Libra, thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me. <sighs> it's going to be a good month. It's going to be a good December. All right, Libra, I'll see you again soon.